O my Jesus, I unite my desires to the desires that you had on the cross. I call upon you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, fount of mercy from which gush forth rays of inconceivable graces, be mindful of your own bitter passion and do not permit the loss of souls redeemed at so dear a price. O Jesus, let every soul trust in your passion and place its hope in your mercy. You will not deny your mercy to anyone. Heaven and earth may change, but your mercy will never be exhausted. Jesus, I desire to bring all sinners to your feet, that they may glorify your mercy throughout endless ages. I now embrace the whole world and ask you for mercy for it. You expire, Jesus. But the source of life gush forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Agony of Jesus I entered into the sufferings which Jesus underwent in the Garden of Olives. The Lord pressed me to his heart and said, I shall give you a small portion of my passion, but do not be afraid, be brave. Do not seek relief but accept everything with submission to my will. When Jesus was taking leave of me, such great pain filled my soul that it is impossible to express it. Every beat of Jesus' heart was reflected in my heart and pierced my soul. In the course of this suffering, my love grew immeasurably. Together with him, I underwent in a special way all the various tortures. The world still has no idea of all that Jesus suffered. I accompanied him to the Garden of Gethsemane. I stayed with him in the prison. I went with him before the judges. I underwent with him each of the tortures. Not a single one of his movements or looks escaped my notice. I came to know all the omnipotence of his love and of his mercy toward souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Scourging I saw the Lord Jesus tied to a pillar, stripped of his clothes, and the scourging began immediately. I saw four men who took turns at striking the Lord with scourges. My heart almost stopped at the sight of these tortures. I saw how the Lord Jesus suffered as he was being scourged. Oh, such an inconceivable agony. His blood flowed to the ground, and in some places his flesh started to fall off. I saw a few bare bones on his back. The meek Jesus moaned softly and sighed. The Lord said to me, I suffer even greater pain than that which you see. And Jesus gave me to know for what sins he subjected himself to the scourging. These are sins of impurity. Oh, how dreadful was Jesus' moral suffering during the scourging. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Crowning with Thorns After the scourging, the torturers took the Lord and stripped him of his own garment, which had already adhered to the wounds. As they took it off, his wounds reopened. Then they threw a dirty and tattered scarlet cloak over the fresh wounds of the Lord. They wove a crown of thorns, which they put on his sacred head. They put a reed in his hand and made fun of him bowing to him as to a king. Some spat in his face, while others took the reed and struck him on the head with it. Others caused him pain by slapping him. Still others covered his face and struck him with their fists. Jesus bore all this with meekness. Who can comprehend him, comprehend his suffering? Jesus' eyes were downcast. Let every soul reflect on what Jesus was suffering at that moment. They tried to outdo each other in insulting the Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Carrying the Cross I saw a multitude of souls crucified like him. Then I saw a second multitude of souls, and a third. The second multitude were not nailed to their crosses, but were holding them firmly in their hands. The third were neither nailed to their crosses nor holding them firmly in their hands, but were dragging their crosses behind them and were discontent. Jesus then said to me, Do you see these souls? Those who are like me in the pain and contempt they suffer will be like me also in glory. And those who resemble me less in pain and contempt will also bear less resemblance to me in glory. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Crucifixion I saw the Lord Jesus nailed upon the cross amidst great torments. A soft moan issued from his heart. After some time he said, I thirst, I thirst for the salvation of souls. Help me, my daughter, to save souls. Join your sufferings to my passion and offer them to the Heavenly Father for sinners. I saw two rays issue from his side, just as they appear in the image. I then felt in my soul the desire to save souls and to empty myself for the sake of poor sinners. I offered myself, together with the dying Jesus, to the Eternal Father for the salvation of the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, 
look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming, that day known to you alone and we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all of our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven.